and it's Elfile and Lorena trying to get on terms on the near side in third place. Is Black Tears, but it's Elfile who has just the advantage from Lorena, who's made to work on the near side, and it's Elfile who's upstaging her stable companion, Lorena, and Black Tears as they run up towards the finish. A game win here by Willie Mullins is a bear. Elfile, Black Tears is second, Lorena third, and fourth, Emily Moon. Surin a long way behind, racing down to the final flight, and it's Elfile and Lorena trying to get on terms on the near side in third place. Is Black Tears, but it's Elfile who has just the advantage from Lorena, who's made to work on the near side, and it's Elfile who's upstaging her stable companion, Lorena, and Black Tears as they run up towards the finish. A game win here by Willie Mullins is a bear. Elfile, Black Tears is second, Lorena third, and fourth, Emily Moon. And on the outside is Lucky One with Foxy Jacks as they race down towards the final flight at Clad de Rear from Foxy Jacks and Desir de Juan between horses and then comes a Lucky One who's just beginning to give best to the three in front. And it is Foxy Jacks now. A Foxy Jacks bad mistake and gives another chance to E. Clad de Rear on the near side then Desir de Juan and Lucky One but it's Foxy Jacks and Philip Inright from Clad de Rear and Rachel Blackmore Foxy Foxy Jacks luck is in today. Gets off the mark. E. Clad de Rear second. Desir de Joie third. Lucky one in fourth. And Stormy Judge in fifth. And on the outside is Lucky One with Foxy Jacks as they race down towards the final flight at Clad de Rear from Foxy Jacks and Desir de Joie between horses. And then comes a Lucky One who's just beginning to give best to the three in front. And it is Foxy Jacks now. A Foxy Jacks bad mistake and gives another chance to E. Clad de Rear on the near side. Then Desir de Joie and Lucky One. But it's Foxy Jacks and Philip Inright from E. Clad de Rear and Rachel Blackmore. Foxy Jacks luck is in today. Gets off the mark. E. Clad de Rear second. Desir de Joie third. Lucky one in fourth. And Stormy Judge in fifth. And it is on the raid, Scully's dream, black cap and sleeves from Balderio. Aliyev gets up on the outside on terms, then the brogy man who's gone through between horses on the far side, then go ahead with the plan, and elusive rebeldom isn't out of it at the final flight. And it is the brogy man from Balderio, elusive rebeldom, and go ahead with the plan. It's a throw of the dice here, elusive rebeldom is swept through on the rail to collar the brogy man. Go ahead with the plan, Balderio, Aliyev, and Scully's dream, elusive rebeldom. And David Russell draw away to beat the brogy man and then go ahead with the plan. Balderio Aliyev, all about Joe Scully's dream. And it is on the raid, Scully's dream, black cap and sleeves from Balderio. Aliyev gets up on the outside on terms, then the brogy man who's gone through between horses on the far side, then go ahead with the plan and elusive rebeldom isn't out of it at the final flight. And it is the brogy man from Balderio, elusive rebeldom and go ahead with the plan. It's a throw of the dice here, elusive rebeldom is swept through on the rail to collar the brogy man. Go ahead with the plan, Balderio, Aliyev and Scully's dream, elusive rebeldom and David Russell draw away to beat the brogy man and then go ahead with the plan. Balderio Aliyev, all about Joe Scully's dream. Mary Francis and Cahill Landers as they come towards the final flight a great view has moved into third place and then a Royal Thief Relegate and High Sparrow down to the final flight and it is Mary Francis and on the near side Blast of Coman Mary Francis appears to have more in reserve over the last from Blast of Coman a great view and then Relegate and Royal Thief and it's Mary Francis making just about all in this three miler for Cahill Landers and Martin Hassett in the Pertemps Network Group handicap hurdle qualifier Mary Francis, a very game winner from Blast of Cooman, a great view, relegate and royal thief, well clear of the others. But Mary Francis and Cahill Landers, as they come towards the final flight, a great view has moved into third place, and then a royal thief, relegate and high sparrow down to the final flight, and it is Mary Francis, and on the near side, Blast of Cooman, Mary Francis appears to have more in reserve over the last from Blast of Cooman, a great view, and then relegate. 
Leighton Royal Thief and it's Mary Francis making just about all in this three miler for Cahill Landers and Martin Hassett in the Per Temps Network Group Handicap Hurdle Qualifier Mary Francis very game winner from Blast of Cooman a great view relegating Royal Thief well clear of the others Up is Mike O'Connor, and it's Fort Worth, Texas from Tucane, who's trying to renew her effort in second, well clear of in third place, who is Miss Pernickety. They're well strung out coming to the final flight, and it's Fort Worth, Texas from Tucane. Fort Worth, Texas steadied into the last, safely over from Tucane. Miss Pernickety just coming to it now, remote third, and then comes hopefully, but it's Fort Worth, Texas out in front by over eight lengths, Tucane second, Miss Pernickety third, and then hopefully. And at the finish, Fort Worth, Texas, Mark Walsh win from Tucane. Miss Pernickety will be third. And it's Fort Worth, Texas from Tucane. Fort Worth, Texas steadied into the last, safely over from Tucane. Miss Pernickety just coming to it now, remote third, and then comes hopefully. But it's Fort Worth, Texas out in front by over eight lengths. Tucane second, Miss Pernickety third, and then hopefully. And at the finish, Fort Worth, Texas, Mark Walsh win from Tucane. Miss Pernickety will be third, and coming for fourth, Queen of Fame to deny, hopefully, for that spot. The new summer in town racing weekend, June 6th and 7th, handicap hurdle over two and a half miles. And in front is Moldo to the final flight, Barry John Foley from Stohan Cross and Oakley Brown on the outside trying to bridge the gap. And then Bread and Butter and Breen Kane at the final flight, Moldo and Stohan Cross on the near side as they race into the closing stages. And Stohan Cross has come to grab. Moldo Farina still fi finishing well. It's Stohan Cross as they run to the finish, last to the start, first one home. Stohan Stohan Cross, Oakley Brown by length, Moldo second, Farin in third, and a break then to my lovely boy. And then my lovely boy, Calibrator, Clunserna into the straight to the final flight in the new summer in town racing weekend, June 6th and 7th, handicap hurdle over two and a half miles. And in front is Moldo to the final flight, Barry John Foley from Stohan Cross and Oakley Brown on the outside trying to bridge the gap. And then Bread and Butter and Breen Kane at the final flight, Moldo and Stohan Cross on the near side as they race into the closing stages. And Stohan Cross has come to grab. Moldo Farina still fi finishing well, it's Stohan Cross as they run to the finish, last to the start, first one home, Stohan Cross, Oakley Brown by length, Moldo second, Farin in third, and a break then to my lovely boy. Winner of the straight in the Punchestown Ireland's favourite sporting hospitality bumper, Katmar Deji with line break. Gone up on the far side to lead. Part time farmer isn't out of it. Then Glenvay Park, Grim Star, and Cool Petra, but it's line break and Derek O'Connor from Part Time Farmer who's closing on the outside for J. Archdeacon. These two now inside the final 150 yards. Line break from Part Time Farmer as they run up to the finish. It's line break and Derek O'Connor holding part-time farmer and J. D. Archdeacon second, third from the back, Ultra Veer and Pat Taff. Win of the straight in the Punchestown Ireland's favourite sporting hospitality bumper, Katmar Deji with line break. Gone up on the far side to lead. Part-time farmer isn't out of it. Then Glenvay Park, Grim Star and Cool Petra, but it's line break and Derek O'Connor from part-time farmer who's closing on the outside for J. Archdeacon. These two now inside the final 150 yards. Line break from part-time farmer as they run up to the finish. It's line break and Derek O'Connor holding part-time farmer and J. D. Archdeacon second, third from the back, Ultra Veer and Pat Taff.